Hello and welcome to Square Plates, where we go over food from Final Fantasy and other Square properties. Today we're looking at Meldaccio Meat Pies from Final Fantasy XV. Meat pies are delicious, they're a wonderful change of pace, and they're a nice surprise for guests. Now, meat pies like these, I based this recipe off of the uh, Quebec Tortier, which is, I believe, a Christmas dish. Um, if I'm wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments. But uh, I made a variation which is delicious all year round and very variable if you have different dietary needs. Now, it's very easy to make. It just takes a few simple steps. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Like I said, tortier style meat pies can be adapted beautifully to your tastes and use almost any type of meat. Maldaccio meat pies are a bit more specific. For those, you need the steak of a dual horn, which looks like a big funky rhino, and a loup horn, which looks like a big angry horse goat. Unfortunately, my local grocer doesn't carry a whole lot of rhino or horse goat meat, so I'm going to have to settle for pork and lamb. That said, you can use pretty much any ground meat for this. I've tried doing this with goat before, and while I like it, it can be a bit gamey for some of my guests. We start off by prepping our vegetables. We're going to need to dice up a medium onion using a reasonably fine dice. We're also going to want to peel and chop some potatoes. I'm using two good-sized Yukon gold potatoes and make mashed potatoes out of them. You don't have to cut them super small, but you will want to put them in cold salted water and bring them to a boil. After about 35 minutes in their fork tender, strain them and mash them however you prefer. You can also use leftover mashed potatoes if you have them. To make the filling, we're starting off with a pat of butter. Let's call it a tablespoon and a half. Add the onions on medium heat and sweat them to let them caramelize a little. Once we have a nice color going, we'll add our seasonings. Here I have some ground pepper, allspice, cinnamon, paprika, salt, and a couple of bay leaves. I'll be honest, the first time I saw a recipe for this, I wasn't too sure about the cinnamon. But let me tell you, this recipe has made a convert of me. This would also be a really good time to add some garlic. We're going to let this continue to cook for a quick moment before adding our ground meat. I have here about a pound of pork and a pound of lamb. Throw in a splash of red wine as well, both for flavor and texture. We don't want this to end up too chunky after all. After that, we just cook it down until the meat is brown and ready. It shouldn't take too long. You're going to see some liquid come out and that's just fine. Once we add the mashed potatoes, like so, these will soak up these wonderful, lovely, flavorful juices. Now this filling is going to make a lot of meat pies, and I mean a lot, so feel free to freeze some if you like. Meanwhile, let's get our pie crust ready. In the game, the meat pies have a nice rectangular appearance, so let's make this easy on ourselves with a template. I have a box here that looks about the size I would like, so I'll just cover it in foil so I know I'm putting a clean surface down on pie crust. When it comes to crusts, you can use your favorite recipe, or you can use store-bought. Either way, these are going to be amazing. Once our pie crust is rolled out, we can just use our template to cut some appropriately sized tops and bottoms. However, you can use any size or shape that you like. Round pies go wonderfully. If you have some funky cookie cutters that'll make good pies, use them. I want to see them. Now, unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced the clip of filling and sealing the meat pies. I don't know exactly what happened, but in its place, here's my elegant rendition of how you make these puppies. We take our tray of pie crust bottoms, and we put down some filling, taking care not to get it onto the edges too much. We also take care to take out any bay leaves we find, because those things are great for flavoring, but bad for eating. Next, we use our secret ingredient, a little sprinkle of goat cheese. Trust me, it adds a creamy little je ne sais quoi that you will not want to miss. The pie crust top goes on top, sensibly enough, and we seal the outside edges with a fork. Then we use a sharp knife to cut some slips in the top so that steam can escape. Give these a quick egg wash so they bake up nice and shiny and pop them in the oven for 45 minutes for small pies or for larger and let cool for an hour. And there you have it, a beautiful pie that can make for an elegant fork and knife dinner or a casual hand pie lunch the next day. I really suggest you guys try these out, but don't just take my word for it. Let's get some opinions. 
Okay, so let's see how these taste. Uh, I have with me this time my lovely fiance, Shane, and my good friend, Amanda. They're doing me the great favor of trying these so that you'll know whether or not you want to try them yourself. If you guys want to go ahead, uh, enjoy. Now, these are wonderful served at room temperature. They're good warm too, but warm temperature. I can get you a fresh one. <laughs> Sorry. Do you? No, go. No, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, they are great room temperature, or like, like they're perfect for picnics, that kind of thing. Um, so, what do you guys think? Mm. I think it tastes good. Yeah, right. I like the flavor of it. Um, mm -hmm. It is a little, it is very flaky. Do you watch out for the flaky. It does work as a hand pie if you're not too picky, uh, but it's also a good fork and knife sort of thing. Um, well, a dust buster nearby doesn't hurt. Apparently I've just gotten so used to chopsticks that um, <laughs> I've forgotten how to fork and knife. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I think it tastes great. Um, yeah, it's um, there. the The meat is like really well seasoned, mm -hmm. and so uh, I think that it's like you know it tastes like filling, mm -hmm. and very delicious. All right, awesome. And a combination of uh, pork and lamb is what I've used here. But try other things. It's really good with goat, unless you don't like goat. That probably goes without saying. Yeah. Uh, but beef is really good. Mm. Yeah, I like the goat cheese. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah, the goat cheese is really complicated. Not traditional uh, for this kind of meat pie, but I think it does add a nice something. Mm. So you guys go ahead. I'm going to let you eat. Folks, I hope that you will give this a shot, this Mildachio meat pie from Final Fantasy XV, or the way I envision it. Um, again, mix up your spices. Try different meats. Try new things. Just get out there and play with your food. We'll see you next time. Thank you.